What's going on guys? It's Seal Talks here. If you saw by the uh, beginning of the video, uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys about worldwide news, uh, news that's happening in the world that affects uh, some people but not a lot of people. And uh, this is the thing I'm going to do every now, like once a week, I'm going to pick, I'm going to try to do it on a certain day, like on Wednesday or Thursday, but I'm just going to do this today just to see how this wor uh, works. And uh, if you guys like this, and uh, if we get like a bunch of people that like it, I might do this every week, like once a week, but I might just do this uh, uh, once a week anyway, just uh, inform you guys to uh, like update you what's happening in the world. So this is a thing that happened a couple days ago. Uh, there's a prison in uh, Florida. They you know the, during the lunch break they let the inmates walk around for lunch and stuff and uh, socialize. And uh, there's they always got guards that uh they always uh, walk around and make sure they're not doing anything. And what well, there was only one uh, officer at work that day at the around that area, and uh, he was at a desk. And uh, one of the inmates decided to jump him and try to take his gun and kill him. But then uh, the, uh, a bunch more inmates came busting through the door, and uh, everybody thought that he, they were going to help beat the guard up, but they uh, protected that guard. They beat up the uh, inmate, and uh, my, hat, my hat goes off to those gentlemen that actually did that. They saved that officer's life, and that proves how much they respect that man, and uh, they don't want to see him get hurt. Uh, that my, Like I said, my hat goes off to those gentlemen that did that, and they say criminals, are, like people that go to jail are criminals, that they've done wrong. Well, and they're all and they're killers. Well, how come about 20 people saved an officer's life? 20 in about 20. I don't know how many there were exactly, but I saw the video and there is a lot of inmates in there holding that dude down, waiting for more officers to show up to put him in jail. Uh, yeah, but like I said, my hat goes off to those gentlemen. If people save people to go to jail are criminals and killers. The high, there's a lot of them. I don't exactly know how many there were, but I'm gonna say 20. How come 20 inmates saved one man's life? They respect him that much. The next thing we're going to talk about today is the Pope arriving in the U.S. Now this has been a while back. I think it was like last week or toward the beginning of this week. I'm not exactly sure because I don't keep up with the news like I should. And I don't really pay attention to the news. And you're going to see my second iPad reflecting off of my glasses. And if it's distracting, I'm sorry. Uh, I would go... I want to like look at you guys and then like just barely turn my head so I don't have to keep doing that. So we're going to be talking about the Pope right now. And I have on my second iPad the full article about it. You can go check out the article if you want to. If you already, like, if you have an iOS and have your iPad updated to the, uh, the 9.0, like the last update they just, re they just released yesterday. Uh, you can uh, go back, you can go to that real quick and read along with me. So uh, just if you got the iOS, you can read this with me. So here we go. Uh, pope Francis addressed Congress Thursday morning for the first time at pope, the first time a pope has ever done so in his historical inaugural inaugural visit to the United States. Francis has a uh, Francis has broached politically diverse topics including climate change, poverty, and marriage. While they serve on opposite sides of the aisle, Speaker of the Just Speaker of the House John Bowen and the Vice President and President of the Senate. Joe Biden are both Catholic and greeted the Pope ahead of his address. The Pope opened the Congress saying, you, you own responsibility as members of Congress to enable this country, but your legislative activity to grow as a nation. He targeted his speech not only as the politicians in the room, but also the many thousands of men and women who strive each day to be an, to do honest day's work. Overall, Francis' speech took a the, uh, decidedly bits, bits parchment tone showing uh, uh, showing support for both conservative and liberal uses. It is a mistake when people call Pope Francis a liberal Pope. His comments were aimed at a building bridge and his comments range across the politician's divide, said Eric LeCompte, a religious competitor and chair of Jubilee USA uh, Financial Reform Group. Now, uh, this is what uh, this really, I'm gonna, what I'm going to say is going to summarize what that said. Uh, the Pope, he was talking about how uh, we have our problems in the United States, saying uh, we're not really perfect. Uh, the world's worse now than it was a long time ago. And uh, I'm not Catholic. I'm Baptist, and I don't really uh, keep up with stuff like I should with the uh, religion and stuff. And if this offends anybody in any way, I'm sorry. But if you're uh, but if you don't believe in God, then that's your choice. That's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna get into any further detail about this.
But uh, anyway, let's keep let's get to you. Uh, uh, Francis has been critical crit cri Francis has been crit cri 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 uh, Francis has been critical of capitalism. Say the fight against poverty and hunger must be fought constantly and on many fronts, especially in this cause. I know that many Americans today, as in the past, are working to deal with this problem. Yeah, not many Americans really care about that. Another, like, if it's in another country, Americans don't really care about it. Uh, he went on to say that the way to achieve an, inc an inclusive and sustainable economy is to create and distribute wealth. Yeah, what that means is to give money, like to charities and stuff. That's what that means. If you don't, if you don't get it, I'm gonna try to hurry this up and get on to another uh, news. I'm gonna try to do like my top three for like this that whole week. Anyway, uh, instead of targeting Wall Street and corporations through, through the Pope took aim at the structures that enable poverty, the message of this Pope resolved around those structures and preventing cooperation, corruption. He's inviting us to change the structure regarding poverty, says LeCompte. I'm not exactly sure how you say that, but I do apologize if I do mispronounce it. So that's going to summarize. Uh, that's what I, that, here's what I think about the Pope come to the United States. I think that's good. He's been every country in the world except the United States and he doesn't speak English that good. And uh and uh I haven't seen him I haven't like seen the video of him speaking English but I heard it wasn't really that good. I'm not saying he's a bad speaker or anything like that. I'm just saying that he's coming to the United States is a really big thing because like I said at the beginning, that's the first time any Pope has ever done that in history. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, probes into ISIS into a manipulation expand whistleblower visit visits Hill. To me, like the whole ISIS thing, that's just stupid. Why Americans want to go over there and join terrorists to bomb the United States? I mean, if I do get this wrong, I like I said, I don't pay attention to the news, so my facts may not be a hundred percent. And if I'm wrong, I do apologize because I do not keep up with the news like I should. So we're going to talk about uh, this uh, article right here. Investigations into alleged manipulation of intelligence regarding the Islamic states and other terrorist groups have significantly expanded within one whistleblower meeting recently with congressional aides. Fox News has learned a congressional source confirmed that the aides of Senate Intelligence and Armed Services Committees have met with the whistleblower. At least five congressional committees, including those two panels, are now looking into the allegations. And Bloomberg reported Thursday that and multiple inspectors, generally in the in the intelligence community, have launched their probes. The widespread involvement marks a significant expansion for a probe initially handled by, only by the Defense Department. Inspecting General Bloomberg, Bloomberg uh, reported that the whistleblower who met with aides will meet with the top Senate soon. At their core, the, the allegations come cover claims that central government command. Why is it government? A central command figures manipulated uh, analysis intelligence to make the campaign against ISIS seem more successful. As Fox News previously, previously reported, the alleged ma manipulation through predates even the you know, even the rise of the Islamic nation. I, I'm excuse me. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read uh, like the first couple paragraphs about it. Uh, my opinion for ISIS is that it's stupid. I don't get why Americans want to go to another country to join terrorist groups. And the people of ISIS, they're not really going to care about them. Uh, it's just like gangs in the United States. If one person gets busted, the whole everybody else in the gang ain't going to do nothing to help them. So yeah, that's uh, my opinion for This has uh, been Worldwide News, the CL Toxic. Hopefully you enjoyed my... Uh, my opinion and uh, hopefully if I updated you guys leave a like to the video and if I updated you leave a like and comment for the video uh, if you didn't if you didn't get uh, updated on the news in the world or what's happening like the video and uh, if you didn't uh, like my opinions of this like the video comment below uh, what you guys think I should uh, update you on for the next worldwide news thank you so much for watching like the video subscribe and all that stuff and I'll see you guys in the next worldwide worldwide news bye